The fourth annual summit of the Telecom Infra project saw around a thousand TIP members gather in Amsterdam. The open RAN topped the agenda with both Vodafone and Telefonica calling for an acceleration of open networking within the telecoms ecosystem. Together we built, that's the motto of the conference today. So a year ago in London we did announce uh, field trials, we did announce the first commercial activities, the first RFIs launched by on one side Vodafone and Telefonica, by DT on millimeter wave. And indeed we made steps ahead. We went into commercial deployment, so Telefonica is just presenting on their uh, commercial open RAN deployment in uh, Peru. Uh, likewise, you saw some other announcements recently. And uh, we're on a journey with TIP. Latin America is uh, the natural place for Telefonica to try new, new stuff. Uh, for instance, uh, we are deploying uh, open run uh, radio access networks uh, in Peru uh, today. We, we've been doing that for the last six, six months and, and we are actually in production mode, so connecting more and more people as we speak. And all of this is um, using the open run technologies that we selected in the RFI that we presented uh, the result last year at TIP Summit. So, um, if you remember last year at TIP Summit, we, ran a, we announced the results of a, a, an RFI that we had run with our colleagues from Telefonica. So, a few months after that, we had the first commercial trial live in Turkey. We have five trials going on, two in Europe. We have an RFQ that we just announced for all our footprint in Europe, is up to tender, 100,000 base stations, and we have invited the open run suppliers. We're learning rollout models, we're learning even commercial models that may work, you know, and ones that may not work. We're learning how to operate this and the challenges we may face on integration and on operation. And that is all very important because they are like key steps towards, towards a massive rollout that may happen maybe in 2020, maybe in 2021. I think it's a very promising product and it's a very promising uh, technology. We have tons of activities. Now, number one was open RAN. As you could see from the, uh, the announcement, we have MTN deploying 5,000 from parallel with parallel wires. We have Vodafone announced it. We have Telefonica announced it. Clearly, at the last TIP summit, we talked about a joint RFI from Telefonica and Vodafone and really, I think, motivated and, and accelerated the ecosystem, right? Uh, now we have real deployment, uh, it, not some POC and trial. Well, I, I think there are going to be some operators around the world that don't necessarily have a, an ambition to lead the, the creation process, but they absolutely desire to have input to the requirements gathering. So I think that's for everybody. We'd love to hear what the requirements are from a broader set, an increasingly broad set of members from the operator community. But I think that's what we as operators have to focus on, to broaden the base, to truly collaborate, not only among us as operators, but also start a collaboration with our vendor partners, our uh, systems integrators. So that is the different approach. Yeah, so it's less politics and checking, is this bit in the spec or not? Uh, it's focus on building and collaboration. Whilst TIP is seeing early success with disaggregated RAN and open cell site gateways, it acknowledges that there is still more work to be done. We need to do more uh, advocating for 5G and edge company. We need to advocate more for a smart and softer network. That's what we do. We have Facebook on the board and they, they clearly excel at doing that. Let's bring that cloud knowledge into the telco world. I would like to see that. And now, in next time when we meet, we can talk more about applications and services running on a nat cloud native open RAN. And a very interesting topic is still, for example, network management. How do we manage such a new disaggregated network? And um, I think very important as well is the life cycle management as part of this. So what we did in the TIP Community Lab, uh, both at Facebook as well as at Telefonica, focusing on the continuous integration, continuous development and automated testing. I think it's critical for anyone going on the disaggregation route.